Okay, this is a demonstration of a spreadsheet that I wrote. This is a very quick demo. It's not intended to show you all the how to work Excel or how to do everything. But whenever you open this spreadsheet, you will have um, a logo pop up and then subsequently a form. That's if macros are enabled. If macros are not enabled, what you have is this brief instruction sheet. Hopefully you're a user who actually knows a little bit about Excel and a little bit about your computer and the operating system. If I press Control A, as shown here in the instructions, it will uh, bring up this form if macros are enabled. If macros are not enabled, now you're going to have to go enable them. This uh, video does not cover the enabling of your macros. I'm going to click on New Sheet because the only sheet we have is Instructions. We're going to go Select and we're going to select JPEGs and then we're going to go to number 2 which is Find. And we're going to go Find All JPEGs. Now this computer program will actually go and find everything on your C drive uh, JPEGs if you wanted it to. We're not going to go there at, the, at this point because it does take a little while. You can see what we did is we selected a folder and then we pulled in these uh, files. I can close that form anytime I want to. This is just a normal spreadsheet now and it has a listing of the files. Let's say for instance I needed to list every f file on my computer. I can uh, choose that folder appropriately. You can use an asterisk to go get everything if you do that, you might want to make sure you do not include subdirectories because it will go get everything, every file on your computer. Now, what I'm going to do briefly is to show you that I can use this image box. Most of this stuff is pretty self-explanatory. And uh, if I want to open that file, now it will open uh, PDFs, whatever and it'll do it with whatever Windows defaults to. Let's go, uh, let's go pull in some PDF files. Um, you can create as many sheets as you want and you can rename the sheet whatever. Excel is Excel. And um, it's gonna operate just like Excel except for whenever you're using the form. The form pretty much is like wizards which which help you. I'm choosing PDF and I'm going to find and what we'll do is we're going to pick our desktop and we'll uh, actually we have a, a folder on the desktop which I think I've set aside for so let me see if I can find it PDFs test PDFs uh, there we are boom and we're going to select and uh, we're going to append the records, meaning that we're going to add them to the bottom of this. We don't want to get rid of what we already have there. We can mix and match all we like. Now, um, you know, this is, uh, notice that whenever I select a file, if it wasn't the file that I was on, whenever I move my mouse back over the form, it will start showing it. Now, let's go look at... Uh, um, notice that PDF is not going to show in the image box and you don't necessarily have to use the image box but we can go open the location or we can open the file or we can rename it, copy it, delete it. I'm going to go open that file. This is the DNA programming kit manual and uh, you can see that it pulls it up with whatever your default viewer is going to be for that particular file type. Um, so this is a great way of creating, uh, you know, in other words, how about uh, we'll do a new sheet, one more dem demo here, and let's do an asterisk, and let's go um, find, and we notice it created a new sheet, and I can find every kind of uh, file on my desktop select. So this is really rich if you plan to do document imaging and maybe keep tra track of what document is what. 
it makes it easy for you to uh, you know uh, rename your stuff and um, so y you can really use this I know but if I want to know uh, what this image is I can, I can go look at it I can rename it I can tell it uh, this is a New Orleans <laughs> I can't spell oh, New Orleans Street. Now I can cancel out of here because one of the things I want to recommend to you when you go to rename a file, sometimes the if particularly a photograph, it's going to have the date. That's 2015. That's August the 22nd. And uh, what I'm going to do here, instead of just overriding that name, I'll type in at the beginning. And the reason why is. So that way I didn't lose any data and because this is when the picture was taken. We'll click OK and you can see it's going to rename that. So have fun. I hope you enjoy the product. I hope you'll try it out and I uh, hope you'll use it. But you can print these out whatever you like.